Thanks Vincent, first visit of the evening. And it's probably not a good time, it's raining. Peter across the road came across and um, for a chat, he's left his coat and his hat. So I've just sent him a message saying, look, you need to go and pick your stuff up in case you need it in the morning. And the badger's turned up, so you can guarantee Peter's probably going to walk through the gate any minute and scare um, Paul Vincent off. It's raining out there as well. Um, poor little Vincent. Oh, a leaf just fell in his head. So the only reason I sat here, um, we're doing a video at the moment, is I'm just waiting for Peter to come round. And uh, I've thrown all the cash room that's just outside the door. So I've just said to send a message saying, when you come round, please don't stand at the cash room nuts. Otherwise I'll be all crushed in all of my decking. Oh, I love St Vincent so much. He was so, first time I met him a couple of years ago. He came round and he'd been beaten up badly, his face was all deformed. And uh, I felt so sorry for him, he had something to eat. And um, and I felt better the fact that he'd had to, something to eat, at least it'd give him a chance to heal up a bit. And he started coming round ever since, and he's, he's, such, he's so timid and gentle. And occasionally he's coming to the porch to see me, and uh, he's come right up to my feet. He's never taken anything out of my hand or anything, but it's... Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of trust there with him. But the slightest sound he will run off. But if I shout him or hiss my voice he won't he won't run off. About the easiest of the badgers to um identify, you can tell it's a male but it's got a really wide jaw, narrow neck, short snout, and his right ear is missing. He has got a mate, Vance, who's got his left ear missing, but I haven't seen him for a while. It's been a bit different this year, instead of where last year and the year before, I can get up to 10 in the garden at the same time this year, they're coming in ones and twos throughout the night, but not so many of them. The tables work well. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad we made the badger's table. It's um, my son came round and I just bought all the materials. So um, he helped me knock it up. Well, he was my eyes and hands really because I can't really get out my electric wheelchair. But um, it's worked really well. Notice that. I could go out there with Vincent, but I'd have to shut the internal kitchen door so the cat didn't run out, otherwise she'll be out for hours. And um and it's raining. I know we're waterproof. That's what they used to say it was in the forces. What did they used to say? Swing your arms, shoulder high, lean back at the waist and look up. You are waterproof when you're marching. Didn't make you feel any better.
In fact, last year, the year before, the year before that, just about every Tesco delivery person who came after six or seven o'clock at night had actually seen the badges. So you should walk um, along that wall. One guy, a young lad, said quite matter of fact, did you know you've got four badges walking along your wall? And I haven't seen four of them do that for a long time. The reason it's so bad, the video is so clear, I'm looking through the window and there's lights on behind me, but out on the patio there's about five flood lights and we're going to turn them off, but um, it just shows they're not bothered about light whatsoever, they know, they know they're in a safe place and the more light you've got, the better the video you're going to get or the better your, um, your photographs, if you're taking photographs. But I think people are a bit scared about leaving lights on. If I was living in a place where they could be seen, um, I would never leave the lights on, but they can't be seen through there anyway. Vincent is helping himself to all the raisins they've put out. <laughs> Tesco's do, I think it's a kilo of raisins for about 90p. And um, and in fact, actually, that's probably cheaper than a kilo of peanuts. But if you get hedgehogs or uh, foxes, they're not. You, I wouldn't suggest putting them down. I've not got foxes. I've only seen put three foxes in five years, and I do monitor this every night. I've got high resolution cameras looking over there, and I watch for the badgers. So if you've got peanuts, don't put them out. Um, but the hedgehogs can't eat them because the hedgehogs can't climb over the foot wall anyway. Not unless it's um, a hedgehog that's in the Olympics and it can jump a foot. Hi right, Trish, I haven't got the same um, uh, same as you. I can't, I mind you saying that, even if they came up to my door now, I guess I'm in a, a wheelchair, I couldn't um, bend down to feed them anyway. So I'm stuck to um, just doing it. Well, it's on the window. Besides, it's throwing it down anyway. That's Vincent with a missing ear. I was just saying, actually, the, the reason that these videos look so clear and the photographs is not that I've got a special camera or anything like that it's just the fact that I've got a lot of light I do and move those plants around and um, just put a thin piece of wood on to hide the food. This, um, when you try to take photographs, you, you've got to wait so long for one of the badges to actually look up to get a, photo, a decent photograph. But it's all, it's all a, a learning curve for me on this, because I've never tried this before.
Oh, that's more than two, you know. So I'll try again later on.